let us start 7.2, one to one and onto and inverse functions. Definition, let f be a function from set x to set y. We say that function f is one to one or injective if it passes horizontal line test. So passes horizontal line test. Very well. Mathematically, we can say that if y values are the same, then x values are the same. Or equivalently, we can say that if x values are different from each other, then y values must be different. Symbolically, we can say that function f that maps x to y is one to one if and only if for any two random values, x1 and x2 in the domain x, if f of x1 is equal to f of x2, then x1 is equal to x2. So if y values are the same, x values must be the same as well. Take a look at this example. Suppose you have two functions. The first function maps x into y, a to W, B to V, C to X, and D to Y. Function G maps A to W, C to W. So take a look at this function. As you can see, both A and C, they both go to W. So it doesn't pass horizontal line test. It's not a one-to-one -one function. But function f is a one-to-one -one and nice function. It means that you can find an inverse function f. Take a look at function b. Suppose x is one, two, three, y is a, b, c, d, and h maps x to y, and we define h to be this way. It maps one to c, two to a, and three to d. Suppose you define function k to be this way. k maps 1 to d, 2 to b, and 3 to d. As you can see, you have two uh, function values, d and d, which are the same, but x values 1 and 3 are not the same. So function b is also not 1 to 1. But function h is a nice function, and it is a 1 to 1 function. One-to-one -one functions on infinite sets. So now suppose function f is a function defined on an infinite set like x. By definition, f is one-to-one -one if and only if for any random values in the domain, if y values are the same, x values are the same. So to prove f is one-to-one, -one, you would generally use the method of direct proof. So you suppose that x1 and x2 are equal to each other, are not equal to each other, then you show that f of x1 is not equal to f of x2, or you can say that if f of x1 is equal to f of x2, then you show that x1 is the same as x2. Consider these two functions. Function f maps r to r and function g maps z to z. f of x is a real function because its range is real number values. So f of x is 4x minus 1, but function g maps n to n squared. Is f 1 to 1? Is g 1 to 1? You can graph these two functions. The first function is just a linear function. Any linear function is a one-to-one -one function. It passes horizontal line test. For the second function, this is not a continuous function. So this is your function f. Your function g is somehow a quadratic function. And as you can see, it doesn't pass horizontal line test. So it is not one-to-one. -one. Or you can use algebra 
and prove algebraic method for these two functions. Definition of onto or surjective function. Suppose f be a function from a set x to a set y. We say that f is onto or surjective if and only if given any random element in the range, you're able to find an element in the domain such that y is equal to f of x. Symbolically, you can say that function f that maps x to y is onto if and only if for any random element in your range, there is an element in the domain such that f of x is equal to y. Take a look at this example. For function f, you have a random element. You can take A, you can take B, C, D. So if I take B, B is not mapped to any element in the domain. So it is not onto because of B. Function G is onto. If you consider A, if you consider B, C or D, all of them are mapped to an element in X. So it is an onto function. Part B, consider these two functions. Function H maps 1 to C, 2 to A, 3 to C. And H maps 4 to B. All of these values in the codomain, which includes A, B, C, are mapped to an element in the domain. Take a look at K. It only includes C, B, C, B. It has nothing to do with A in the co-domain. So as you can see, function H is onto, but function K is not onto. Onto functions on infinite sets. Now suppose function f is a function that maps x to y, and suppose y is infinite. So you cannot count the elements in y. By definition, f is onto if and only if the following universal statement is true. For any random element y in y, there is an element in x such that f of x is equal to y. So to prove f is onto, we just need to show that for any random element, y in y, there is an element in x such that f of x is equal to y. To prove that f is not onto, we usually find an element in the range, in the codomain, that y is not equal to any image of any element in x. Let's look at an example to see what's going on here. Prove or disprove the function is onto. The first function f of x is 4x minus 1. And because of the range and the domain, it's absolutely apparent that the function is onto. Again, if you try to graph the function, you can see all y values for any random y values There is an x value. So for any random y values on the y axis, for sure you can match it to an x on x axis. So this function is one to one and onto. The second function, however, for n minus one, let h of n to be zero. Suppose you take any random element on y-axis. Then 4n is equal to 1, and n is equal to a fourth. n is going to be a fraction. 
it doesn't make sense n to be a fraction n is an integer it's not a fraction so you can easily find values in the range in the codomain that are not an image of any element on x-axis definition a one-to-one -one correspondence or bijection from a set X to a set Y is a function that is both one-to-one -one and unto. Theorem. Suppose F that maps X to Y is a one-to-one -one correspondence. That is, suppose F is one-to-one -one and unto. Then for sure you can find inverse function that maps y to x. If y is equal to f of x for a bijective function, inverse image of y is equal to x itself. Theorem, if x and y are sets and f maps x to y, which is a one-to-one -one correspondence, then inverse of f is also a one-to-one -one correspondence. Inverse of function f is one-to-one. -one. Suppose y1 and y2 are two elements of y, and inverse of y1 is equal to inverse of y2. By using the definition, y1 is equal to f of x, and y2 is equal to f of x. So it matches the definition of a one-to-one -one function. To show that inverse is unto, suppose you take any random element in x. Guys, note that inverse maps y to x. So your codomain is now x. For any random element in the codomain, x in x, we need to find an element like y in y such that f inverse of x is equal to, sorry, f inverse of y is equal to x. So we know that y is equal to f of x. That's how we define function f. y belongs to y and inverse of y is equal to x. So we found our x value. This x value actually helps us to match it to the y value that we were looking for. Remember that to show that inverse is unto, suppose x belongs to x. Our goal is to find y in y, that inverse image of y is equal to x. We use the definition of function f, and we know that function f is one to one and unto. So for any random element x in x, if you define y to be f of x, then you have your Y here.